when the sending of the Holy Spirit or, or this baptism of the Holy Spirit happens, there are several kind of common elements or common things that a person experiences. And so a couple of those are, first off, that's already been mentioned, an experience of God's love, that, that we come to understand more fully that God is love and that God loves us, that his love is personal, that his love is unconditional. So we have a deep experience of his love. But we also experience a peace. In the midst of confusion or frustration or whatever, God's peace is present to us. Uh, another common experience is a greater understanding of who Jesus is and what Jesus has done. That, that Jesus gave his life for me. That Jesus suffered on the cross for me. That Jesus rose from the dead for me. That Jesus sent his Holy Spirit upon me so that we have a greater understanding and a greater revelation of Christ. We experience a greater power in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wants to come and he wants to give us power. Power over fear, power over sin, power over the past, power over struggle. That we experience power in the spiritual life. Another thing we experience is a greater fruit of the Holy Spirit. That, that there's greater joy in our life. There's more love, there's more peace, there's more patience. The Holy Spirit brings all of this and really awakens in us the spiritual life. Uh, from the grace that was given to us of baptism and confirmation. Another experience that, that the Holy Spirit provides is uh, a desire to share that, is, is that we experience God and we just want to tell other people. There's this sense of a mission that each one of us receives, a mission to share the faith, a mission for works of mercy, a mission to feed the poor, just that we realize that, that the spiritual life, what Jesus has done for us, what the Holy Spirit has done for us, is bigger than ourselves, and we want to be able to go and share that with other people. 